How are you all doing? Enrique here with another quick tutorial. This time, I'm going to show you how to disable Superfetch or Sysmain on Windows 10. But first of all, what is Superfetch, Sysmain, and how does it work? In the latest version of Windows 10, Superfetch service is now named Sysmain. This service runs in the background using a little CPU power, analyzes how much RAM you are using and what applications you run most frequently. Any apps that the server recognizes as frequently used, it will start to preload these apps into your RAM memory. But this doesn't mean that it's going to consume and take all of your RAM. This is going to preload them and it's not going to be registered as consumed memory so your other applications can use it when they need it. But the problem is that they have been a lot of people in a lot of reports that they have problems with this system main or super fetch. And one of the problems can be 100% disutilization, slow boot up times when you start the computer, and even have been known to cause some performance issues while gaming. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to disable it. To disable super fetch or system main on Windows 10 is really easy. You want to go onto your search bar and type services. As you can see, you can have the app right here, services, open it. And in here, you want to search for this. If you're running an old version of Windows that is not Windows 10, you're going to find it by the name of Superfetch. If you're running Windows 10, this is going to be a sysmain. You want to click in any of the, these names right here and to press the S key on your keyboard. This is going to bring you to all the services that start with S, or you can simply scroll up and down. Now, you want to find where sysmain is. It's right here for me. Right click on it and click on Properties. And in here you want to change the startup type from Automatic to Disabled. Click on Apply and then OK. And as it is running right now, what you want to do is to right click on it one more time and click Stop. And this is going to stop the service from your PC and you are not going to have it anymore on. But guys, if you don't have any performance issues or problems, you can leave sysmain running. This is not a problem for you. It's a useful process that is going to cut down the time that it takes to launch programs and applications that you use most of the time. However, if you are experiencing high hard drive utilization, lots of problems with your memory or overall poor performance or your system is a little bit old and you want to take a little bit more performance into gaming, you can try disable it. As, as this is a small optimization system, it's not going to make any problems in your PC when you have it disabled. That's it for the video, my friends. Like the video if you enjoy it and you find it useful. And a subscriber is always welcome here. Type me on the comments down below if we have helped you with your problems. I always try to answer you all. And like always, my friends, see you in the next time. Bye bye.